stories Every day is a new chance a new opportunity for us to explore this beautiful world and to meet lovely people who make it even more beautiful Today is one of those days I'm feeling so happy and nervous right here as I have in front of me an award winning writer of children's classic who have created the popular comic character Butterfingers in the magazine Tingle Yes I consider it my honor to welcome Karunisa ma'am to Lala Stories. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, Anju for your warm words of introduction. I am very happy and honored to be here to talk to Lala Stories and I'm looking forward to the conversation. Thank you ma'am. So there is a lot of things I need to learn and know from you actually. And I think I'll begin with your journey about what is writing for you uh, can you tell me briefly about how you decided to choose writing how it was during your initial days and what pushed you forward how i decided to choose uh, writing as my career i didn't really mean to be a writer it was not my ambition to be a writer uh, because i was totally into teaching i love teaching I was teaching in a college. I was teaching in a school before that for just one and a half years. That was in an ICSC school and I taught uh, the 10th standard and the 9th standard. You know ICSC syllabus. Mm -hmm. We have Shakespeare, poetry mm -hmm. and I had excellent students. Every one of them was good. The worst would get 50%. You know, it was, they spoiled me. <laughs> and uh, they were so good. They were not goody-goody. You know? They were intelligent. They were uh, amusing. They were mischievous. They were well-behaved. Everything. It was a nice mix of everything. And I realized that uh, I loved teaching because of my experience with them. So I wanted to become a teacher. Then I worked in the bank. Uh, but then you want a good job, you know, good job. <laughs> good job has to be uh, bank officer's job yeah. or something like that. So I got into Punjab National Bank as an uh, officer. They call it management trainee. Oh, okay. I was there for two years. But both those two years, I wanted to get back to teaching. I realized I was not meant for uh, working in a bank it was like an I don't like a desk job uh, and I used to hark back to those days mm -hmm. when I was teaching and then in all saints there was a vacancy and they were getting PG and uh, they had asked for um, people to apply so I applied I got the job and I joined as a junior lecturer mm -hmm. and I felt I had found my place <laughs> I really 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 enjoyed teaching so what happened was the accidental way in which I um, began to write was um, I like writing that's mm -hmm. a different thing you know I want to make a distinction between liking to write and wanting to become a writer oh, okay, okay. Yeah. so school I used to enjoy my English classes in college they used to ask me to write um, give contributions for the magazine short story essays mm -hmm. and all India radio is write stories but I never thought beyond that and uh, so when my son was small, we used to get Tinkle at home mm -hmm. and there was this um, Tinkle uh, on the table and I was looking through it. Of course, I also read it. I mean, mm -hmm. I read when it comes, supposedly for my son, but uh, I think I, must, I would read it before he did. And uh, there was, they were asking for, contrib uh, I mean, um, entries. They were um, running a competition for adult writers of children's fiction. Mm -hmm. okay. So I felt that I'm adult enough. I think I can write a story for children um, within 3,000. It should be uh, within 3,000 words. So, so I thought I'll give it a shot. That you would, it, I can't call it the turning point, but that was when I uh, did something serious, you could say. It was actually comical. The story was funny, mm -hmm. but I sent an entry. And uh, I got, this was an all-India competition, and I got the second prize. So that made me happy, and I was pleased with that then and the story would have stopped there but what happened was uh, two three months later there was a visitor to my house and it was the assistant editor of Tinkle who had come with her husband mm -hmm. and uh, she she uh, though she was uh, the Tinkle office is in Mumbai and though she was staying there her in-laws are in Trivandrum mm -hmm. 
So she came to visit them, but when uh, in Tinkle they knew she was coming to Trivandrum, they uh, they liked my story very much. But of course they didn't give me the first prize, they gave me only the second <laughs> prize. <laughs> Still they liked it so much, they told her, why don't you go and look up this writer. That story was Butterfingers, mm -hmm. alright. Uh, look up this writer who they felt was, um, uh, what to say, a jovial, uh, lively kind of person. Find out if she's as bubbly, that's the word she used, as her story is. So she came actually with my address and I was really you know uh, bowled over I, I, I couldn't Your believe it. Too. She didn't come to see me she came to see her mother-in-law oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but because she came here uh, she, and they told her you go and look her up she made time to come oh, that is right. it I would have been most flattered if she had come all the way from <laughs> the business of one story <laughs> Okay. Anyway, she came yeah. and uh, then uh, so we got talking and we found we had mutual friends and she asked me, Where I, aren't you sending an entry for the next um, year's competition? And I said, no. And that is when she was shocked. She said, why not? I said, I've already got a prize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that, then she said, your, your ambitions are really low. <laughs> you have to write. I never thought of it actually. She said, you must write because we go by the quality of the story. If your story is good enough and it's an independent Mm, panel of judges, uh -huh. the fact that you have won a prize is not going to color their decision for this uh, uh -huh. competition. So when the encouragement came from someone who is an editor, assistant editor of a magazine, you know, that was very uh, special for me. I, so I thought I will uh, send an entry for the next year's competition and that got the first prize. <laughs> Oh. And that set me on the path of writing. So if you ask me why I went to children's writing, mm -hmm. because um, I'm teaching in a college, um, uh, you would expect me to go for academic uh, writing or writing for adults. But I, this is also accidental because the first story I wrote was a children's story. And then I kept on writing stories uh, for Tinkle and I got a whole lot of prizes then I wrote for children's book trust and got prizes there then I got this unison award children's writing fiction award 2007 different so, uh, totally series, right? different uh, or is it about the butterfingers no, no 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 only the first story is butterfingers okay, okay. after that it is all independent different stories okay. different characters different milieu different um, theme everything is different so if I was only writing butterfingers they won't keep giving me first prizes <laughs> So that was uh, happening and uh, then, uh, then Indian Express asked me to write a column for them uh, on books which again I was very happy about because I could go back to the books I liked and, and I had to write a short piece about a book. They, were, they gave me a free hand. You can choose the books. They should be good books. Mm -hmm. Classics mostly and I used to slip in some not so classic books mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. um, but it was very nice. so that is how I started writing and therefore I you could say I got stuck in children's writing because I started like that and uh, Tinkle wanted me to create by the time I, by then I was writing quite a bit for Tinkle so they wanted me to create a regular character for the magazine oh. now Butterfingers was the first story but I uh, that character was something special for me he was living in my head so when this um, uh, associate editor at that time, the, the lady who came was assistant editor, the associate editor who was next to Uncle Pai, you know, uh -huh. Anand uh -huh. Pai, um, Luis Fernandez. So he's the one who asked me uh, and I told him my first story is Butterfingers. I think we can bring back that character. But he didn't know about Butterfingers. He was not there at that time. So he told me, um, can you send me two stories? Let us see if it has the potential to continue as a serial. So I thought up and I wrote two stories, he said this sounds fine and therefore the Butterfinger series started in Tinkle and it became hugely successful. It, the, I think it ran from 2006 to 2015. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there are a huge lot of stories uh, when it was a fortnightly then it became a monthly whatever it is almost all the issues would have a Butterfingers. Occasionally there would be gaps. But that was what was happening. So adult writing, I didn't really, and I was working in a college and I had a lot of, uh, you know how it is, prepared, preparing for lectures, evaluation, looking after my home, son, husband, house. 
So there was really no, and because it was not like I want to become a writer, I want to become mm. a writer, I must try writing for adults. That wasn't there. Yeah, the list of this hectic like, ah, schedule. Yeah. yeah. So that was how it happened, quite um, accidentally. And then, um, if you want to, the rest of the story would be um, in Tinkle. It's a comic, right? Mm -hmm. So my story is a. Uh, the first story at least was a 3000 word story. Mm -hmm. I think I must have written 2999 words. Handwritten? Handwritten. Handwritten. Yeah, this was in 96. Oh, yeah, okay. long back. These uh, kids who are watching me, you know, they'll be thinking, goodness, last, <laughs> <laughs> last century this happened. <laughs> and uh, handwritten. Mm -hmm. No way to find out how many words, right? I actually sat and counted uh -huh. <laughs> the words. And I'm just pulling your leg saying 2,999. I wanted it to be within 3,000. Yeah. So this, what happens there is that this long story uh, is given to a script writer who uh -huh. writes the script. Uh -huh. And this long story gets reduced to, um, say, 10 pages of comic strip. Heartbreaking for me. The first yeah. story when it came, <laughs> where are my wonderful sentences? <laughs> yeah. So many things are missing. But... Uh, and then it goes to the illustrator, very important person in a comic, mm -hmm. you know, because he or she, they are the ones who capture the attention of the yes, yes. reader, they capture the eyeballs. So this, um, after some time I got used to it. I realized it's a different format. And it's, so um, I did not compromise on my writing style, but mm -hmm. because now a small idea, the back of my mind, mm -hmm. uh, the copyright of the longest story mm -hmm. is with me. The copyright for the comic is with uh, Amar Chitra Katha. At that time, they were India Book House, then they became Amar Chitra Katha. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe I can um, get these stories published as Butterfinger stories. Okay, so that was, um, and when I had enough stories, I sent, um, I made a submission to, I sent a submission to Penguin Random mm -hmm. House. Puffin is their oh, children's yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, imprint. So, you know how, the, how it works. If they like something, they'll get back mm -hmm. to you. If they don't like, you wait for some time, three months, six months, and then that you know means, that they are. Yeah. It means rejection. Yes. Rejection means rejection. But uh, luckily, this lady got back to me, the editor. I think it was in, a, in a less than two months, one month or so, she sent me an email in reply saying she just, she loved the stories. She loved the characters, she loved the school, and then you know, everything loved, loved. I was beginning to feel very happy when finally, but, you know, <laughs> the but butted in. And uh, we don't um, publish short stories by, by a single writer. We have anthologies. It's a collection of different writers' stories, mm -hmm. but uh, one person's, they don't. They have made an exception of just one or two people. Uh, to authors, mm -hmm. we don't. As a matter of principle, we don't do that. So, can you write a novel with these characters, with this background, fun, humorous, sports-based? So, I thought, okay, I was not planning to write a novel. Now, see how it, mm -hmm. things were just happening, you no know, one after the other. And I thought, okay, I will. Um, the offer is coming from there. I can't, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. uh, not do it. And I'm teaching my uh, degree students, criticism, fiction, what goes into a <laughs> novel, all those things, theory and well upon. And um, I thought I'll write a novel and I went back to the first story, Butterfingers. Was there any deadline or something? Yeah, yeah, no, this is the way it panned out. What uh, she wanted me to, she asked me if I can write a novel. I said, let me try. She said, you send me a synopsis. And I sent her the synopsis uh, in brief, you know, that first story. I, I felt there was enough meat in it for a novel. So when I sent that, she liked it. Mm -hmm. Then she got back and she said, send me two chapters. Mm -hmm. um, just like that other guy asked me for two stories. I don't know, two is the thing. <laughs> and then I sent um, the first two chapters. So I had to, I can't just write first two chapters, right? So I had to figure out what will go very briefly, what will go into each chapter mm -hmm. and the first two I kind of elaborated and I wrote and I sent it to her and uh, you know what the response was the contract <laughs> she responded with a contract that was really I was so happy because getting a contract from Penguin mm -hmm. and they gave me six months mm -hmm. to write so now um, and I also realized that all the writing I have been doing has been deadline writing 
See, when I was writing the um, column, when I was writing these stories for uh, uh, Tinkle or for CBT, you know how if you are, uh, it's always, you have to uh, write within this period. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I, uh, I need that kind of push to write. <laughs> So then, um, the six months was not a problem for me because I had the story, but the problem was getting the cricket description of cricket matches. Mm -hmm. How's that is a cricket based book. So, and I must, it's about a competition, inter school competition. So, inter school competition means I have to get the dates right. Mm -hmm. I took the 2007 calendar. <laughs> And then planned out on this day, uh, St. Joseph's will play Green Park, Bloss then on this day, Blossoms will. I took one month over it to see that I'm planning it all correctly. Their matches have to happen, finally, semi-finals, finals. Then the scores, there also I broke my head, you know, getting it ready. Then the description, that also stressed me out. Stressed me out in the sense, mm -hmm. I enjoy cricket. I love sports, mm -hmm. but I don't play cricket. So I, what I know is only listening to the commentary or watching um, it on television. I could make mistakes, and I know that children are waiting to find out when the author is going to make mistakes. Yes, <laughs> I have done that. So you know, all the time, whenever I write, I put myself in the shoes of the small me. You know? Yeah. And um, so I would write and I will filter it through my husband and my son mm -hmm. and ask them, is this okay? Mm -hmm. uh, then he says, no, 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 if the fielder was in this position, he couldn't have taken the catch as you described. I said, okay. <laughs> then I would change it and I made it kind of okay. But the rest of the story was going on smoothly. Mm -hmm. It was only these, you know, the match description, which also I had to make it fun. It's a humorous book. Um, so I enjoyed it at the same time. It was a lot of hard work, but I kept to my schedule. I kept to the deadline and I sent it and How's That Butterfingers was published. It became a big success. So that is when um, Penguin said, uh, what about a series? Let's have a sports based novels. Mm -hmm. So the second book, football based novel, Goal Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Third one, <laughs> Clean Bowl Butterfingers. And after the third, this is what I was very happy about. By then they felt, you know, we can take a chance with this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. They said, let's uh, have a collection of short stories. You bring back your stories. Oh. Yeah. So then I wrote fresh stories, um, a novella to start the stories and then the smaller stories. If you have read any of those um, books, you will notice this is the pattern. <laughs> Ma'am, few words on Butterfingers and about your inspiration for authoring such a hilarious series of books. Yeah. So my first story was uh, Butterfingers, right? And uh, why I chose to write such a story was uh, I was sending an entry for a competition. And you know how even though I, I told you I did it just like that and you know, I just gave it a shot, the back of my mind uh, maybe the front of my mind, uh, I wanted the story to be good yeah. and and I also wanted it to be what I thought would be different from what other people may write. Uh -huh. And I realized that there aren't too many um, stories, sports based stories mm -hmm. for children or, and for adults. I really don't think there are too many sports based stories and I love mm -hmm. sports as I told you mm -hmm. earlier and um, cricket is one of my favorite uh, sport. You know, it's a religion for mm -hmm. um, Indians and mm -hmm. uh, and I thought I will write a cricket based story. When I thought of a cricket based story, it just struck, uh, it just came to my mind, why not have a character whose nickname is Butterfingers. Now Butterfingers is not a word I created, mm -hmm. it's been there in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. There's this man called uh, Markham who wrote a book called, I think he called it The Good Housewife or The English Housewife, mm -hmm. where he talks about the qualities of a good housewife oh. what she should have she should not be butter fingered oh. meaning she should not drop things mm. she should be she should smell good she should uh, you know a lot of oh. things I'm sure the women now will be up in arms <laughs> when they hear this but in that century they could preach you know they could, could delineate they could mm. give you you know what the requirements for a good woman mm. and uh, that was when he first used the first usage came 
yeah. you know, into the English uh, language, butter fingered. Mm -hmm. Same meaning. That is, uh, slip, uh, hands which are slippery, mm -hmm. clumsy, mm -hmm. dropping things. And uh, in my house, I'm the youngest of eight children. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, if, when we drop anything, we'll call the other person butterfingers. Oh. So butterfingers was a word commonly used at home. You butterfingers, you are butterfingers. And I thought, why not? Because it's cricket, he could drop a catch. And I want to write a funny story because humor is my weakness. I mean, I've always, I don't know, a strength or weakness. I don't know what you can yeah. call it because I always loved humor. And Definitely uh, strength. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> So I decided it should be a humorous story and then there will be some scope for humor if the character is a butterfingers. That was how I thought of this character and I named him Mukesh. Oh, okay. So in the original story his name was Mukesh. And then now we are going, you know, fast forward <laughs> to when I am asked to create a regular character. I am bringing back butterfingers. And meanwhile, my son is growing up and I've been writing these stories. Only once a year at this competition or something like that, not much, not many, but whenever I have to um, rack my brains for names, I never racked much. I would choose the names of um, his friends, oh. uh, neighbors, children, <laughs> um, if people, random people I know. And uh, I would always ask my son, shall I use your name mm -hmm. as a hero of the next one? No, 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 no. He just wouldn't let me use his name. But when it came to this Butterfingers, I thought why not uh, use uh, Mukesh I felt was a little old fashioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luis Fernandez also thought the same. Mm -hmm. He said, shall we change the name? Let's have a more snappy uh, mm -hmm. name. You know, something that appeals to the modern child. 2007, 6 is mm -hmm. modern child, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not now. Uh, and um, so I thought, I asked my son, uh -huh. shall I change uh, Mukesh to um, Amar? His name is Amar. Oh. And uh, I don't, I seriously don't know whether he was listening or not. Probably not listening because he nodded his head in some way which could mean yes or no. I took it to mean yes. Oh, okay. And I made it Amar. Amar. But he's not, so people ask me, you have named your um, character, the real name of Butterfingers is Amar. Is it, is the character inspired by your son? Is the real Amar like the fictitious Amar? So I'll tell them, no, look, my son. And then they ask me, how is your uh, son? They'll put their hand up and say, he's big, he's tall, he is an engineer, he's in the US. Then they'll say, but we thought he's very small. I say, well, then I tell them he started small, but he grew up. <laughs> and our Butterfingers is frozen at age 13. You know, Amar um, Kishan or Amar Sen in the Tinkle yeah, stories. He yeah, 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 he's always there. And some things are similar in the sense my son is also clumsy. Mm -hmm. But then the whole family is clumsy. <laughs> They're all butterfingered. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, not a very uncommon feature in any um, person. You know, you do, some are more butterfingered than others. Then he is also, he also loves sports. Mm -hmm. So that, there are some things, and he's also very well-meaning, but he's not that hyperactive sodium and water kind of boy that uh, the fictitious Amar is. He's a quiet boy, my son. And uh, so that is how I created um, Butterfingers. And uh, so the inspiration, you can say, is not my son exactly. It was, uh, it was more an imaginative, uh, it was more out of my imagination.